Hello everybody, OK Fixer here. Welcome back to my garage. Um, I've been really going to town on the Volkswagen here, uh, doing some some uh, some stitching there. I know it doesn't look uh, beautiful and precise, but it's strong. I still got to seam that all up, but uh, that's not our video today. Our video today is going to be these. Uh, big trash day. Don't know if you have that in your town. But um, occasionally you'll find stuff. And I went off to do a job this morning, and these were sitting at the curb. So, um, yeah. There's, uh, you know, it's, it's Chinese. I don't know the size of that engine. I'm going to have to look at that. But it looks pretty stout. It looks pretty big. Uh, so, I don't know. Electric start. I know it has a reverse because I had to fool around with the uh, shifter in order to get it to move. Lots of broken plastic. That kind of thing. Four stroke. And then also this little pocket bike. And if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to look at this closer, but I think this pocket bike is also a four-stroke. I, I could be wrong, could be a two-stroke, but I see a crankcase oil deal there where you put oil in it. And I pulled that, and it didn't have a lot of compression. This one seemed to have a lot of more compression and I got to looking at some fossil evidence here, and uh, one of the fossil evidence I was looking at is what's on top of this motor. That's M-O-D-E-R uh, for those of you in Rio Linda. Um, and on the motor is uh, mouse poop. So what does that tell tell me? Yeah, that that people in that house have mice. <laughs> yeah, okay, got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That tells me it was sitting inside somewhere because if you got it just outside, mice aren't just going to crawl up on the engine and... Yeah. So, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, we've got the wrong battery and uh, one of the battery leads is off. And on the solenoid, they got some stuff wrapped around it. So they were having electrical issues, I believe. But even though this had electrical issues, it's also going to have fuel issues too because if it had electrical issues, it sat for a long time. Gas is bad. It is full of oil. Uh, I don't know about this one. I haven't checked yet. But I'm not going to work on this one first. I'm going to work on this one and see. It does roll. Uh, let's see. That looks like a juice break. Is that a real... Is it? Is it? It is. It is. It's a hydraulic brake. Son of a gun. Well, that's pretty cool. And I think it just has drum brakes up front, cable brakes. I don't know if they're drum or they're disc. Interesting, 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 interesting. So, uh, sorry about that. Let's let's get into this, and I'll uh, get some heat on in here for you and a cup of coffee, and we'll get them up on a stand and have a look. All right. All right, I've got both of my engines supported, and uh, so I can use my pump carts. Uh, this wasn't easy. So those of you with uh, really cool lifts, my hat's off to you because I don't have anything like that. Uh, but this is sturdy and uh, will get me a neck injury probably if I don't scoop this up farther. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me wrangle this around and see if I can get... Uh, Get this scooted up a little bit so it's not going like this. Oh, unless I'll give me a little table to work on. So I've got some blocks of wood on the axles. Okay. 
The first thing I want to do is I wanted to look at this battery because uh, it's funny. It's a it's a lithium battery, and uh, I was just kind of curious if it even had anything in it. Kind of funny. Oh, needle moved. Uh, actually, uh, actually, it's got 12 volts in it. A little better than 12 volts. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's got really wonky connections, really corroded there. Well, let's look at what else we got here. Uh, we got this on the solenoid. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like somebody put, uh, I don't know where that goes. Looks like somebody put a new rectum fryer on it uh, because it's got... Uh, that's been put in there. It almost looks professional, so it might have went to a shop with a bad rectifier. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah. Yeah, we got a yellow wire that's bare down there. We'll have to fix that. Oh, here, this is nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it when they wrap wires together. Oh, I like that. Uh, that big blob of green, that's factory. I don't know what this is. This is that's a blank wire. And they, these two are wrapped together. It's more than likely that uh, this has got some safety features on it that doesn't allow it to uh, start unless you're standing on one head and uh, standing on one hand upside down, whistling... Uh, uh, God save the king and chewing bubble gum at the same time while, uh, you know, uh, flipping through uh, revelations with your toes. So, <laughs> you got to push a certain button and stuff. This is some sort of, that's a neutral light. That's probably a reverse light. That's a, uh, Maybe, probably a starter button. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plastic off. And uh, let's not mess with this right now. Uh, let's, I've got a key for it, so let's take the plastic off. And uh, we'll put everything together. I think I'm going to put that battery on charge just for a little bit. Even though it's a lithium battery, I think I'm going to put it on a very slow charge and then um, see if we have spark. If we have spark, then yeah. And if we don't have spark, well, we'll have to chase those wires. That's what's probably, that's what probably did it in to begin with. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Don't know. Here's our ignition switch. And uh, what I did to get this off is I just cut this. Because in order to get this off, you have to take the handlebars off. And what I will do is, since this is just so fried, I'm going to end up uh, piecing this together probably. And I will probably... I'll, I'll, when, I, when I put it together, I'll just put a piece of... Uh, piece of metal underneath here and put some screws through it and, and it'll hold it together the best I can and uh, that way you'll be able to open it up and put it around there without if you have to take it off again uh, looks like the headlight is uh, one of the headlights is broken the other one isn't connected this is uh, either the reverse light or the neutral light uh, so we'll do that and uh, I'm putting all our plastic over here. It's a big pile. So. Ah, now we can see what we got going on. Well, let me investigate a little more. So, I uh, shot a little WD-40 in it. It only has one position. Seems to work. But also, it had this. 
and uh, has <laughs> evidently has an alarm. So, and the battery's still good in it, or it's showing, showing the light up. So this ought to be an interesting machine. I'm interested to see how big that the, uh, the engine is, because it looks pretty stout. All right, uh, I've got a green light, and I've got it just jumpered to a battery down there. Um, I had to replace both of my, because they were questionable. The ignition switch does work. I don't know about this. Let's see what this does. Nothing. Okay, I'll have to, I have the spark plug out and let's see if we get spark down there. I'm gonna try to jump this solenoid that's just, that's just hanging down here. So let's see what happens. I am seeing spark down there. Let me, uh, I'd sure like the push button to work. Let me see if I have to push the brake. I have to hold the brake on maybe, but that's not hooked up to anything either. Hmm. Let's see where this hooks up and it's probably, let's plug that in and maybe, I don't know. Um, I sure like, oh, oh, that might be a big deal right there. Nothing. Okay. Let me, um, poke around this a little bit more. Um, another thing is I took the gas tank off and it's, where did it go? Here it is. It's full of crap. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get to another place where you might be able to look down in there. No, I need a flashlight. Oh, yeah, I got one. Yeah, you can just kind of see it. You can kind of see it. It's pretty bad. And then somebody's got a filter on it, which is good. That tells me the carburetor might not be full of crap. And then it has a, looks like a JB Weld job. But even if I roll this tank, who's to say that that valve's not going to leak? Yeah. Well, I'm going to put a chain in this and uh, put it, wrap it in a blanket tape it up and put it in my cement mixer for an hour and let that chain beat the inside of it out. And then I'll put a new filter on and wash it all out. And whatever comes out of there, it'll, the filter will catch it. Yeah, I didn't have, have a chain. So I'm just going to put this in. Nuts and bolts in it. She's not liking the cold. Wait for the right moment. Go, man, go! Oh, Probably don't need to be turning boot. I got the Another gas tank right there off that old Suzuki. Whatever it might be. Oh, I'll put it in the back. There you go. All right. Get out of here. All right, while the fuel tank's doing its thing, I'm going to loosen this screw up on the carburetor. And I'm going to inject some fuel here. Now, let's be safe. See if I get any coming out of that overflow. 
And if I get it coming out of the overflow, not the overflow, but the drain, that means my float's working. Float valve. I'm not getting anything out of there. All right. Let's whack that a couple of times and see if we can bust it loose. I know, I know, I know. It's fruitless. You're right. Okay, I squirted some gas down that carb. Since I'm not getting any out of the drain, that means the needle and seed are set up, which means the carburetor is probably full of crap. Or old gas or whatever. Okay, well. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'll we'll take this carb off because it doesn't make any sense fiddle farting around with uh, anything else. I mean, the engine uh, spins and it has spark. And so, you know, us, you know, just to, just to buy an absolute, you know, miracle. Yeah, that's great, but no, ain't gonna happen. And I seen this. So it's a 125, 124. CM3, which is 124 cc's, cubic centimeters. And that means it's a classed as a 125. So that's a 125 with reverse. Ooh, ah, oh, e, ooh, nice. And it had oil in it, relatively clean oil. So probably a fuel problem, maybe, maybe. Maybe electrical problem, but it uh, looks like they were uh, fudging that probably by jumping that. So I'm thinking fuel problem. So let's get into that carb. Yeah, you think maybe you ought to get your finger out of the way. What do you think? Well, let's have a look inside. It might be cleaner than you think. It won't be. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, but there's no screws here. Uh, it's like some kind of rivet. They put it together with rivets. So what I'm going to do, I, I, you know, I, I'm nothing, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm just going to drill these drill these out, I'll retap them and I'll put a, a screw in them if the carburetor is able to be cleaned. I, it, that's pretty funny, that's pretty good. I tapped on this pretty good and I can't get anything to move either so it's froze up in there. You can't hear anything move, so let's drill these out. Like Don't worry about all the filings and stuff. Those are those go go fine in carburetors. Those go really good. Don't don't yeah. Oh, it's not liking it. It is not. Oh, it's biting all the way. Oh, side tracking and everything. Yeah, that's nice. It doesn't matter. I'll put it together with rubber bands if I have to. I don't care. Only got to fix it once. Let's see if I can bring it this way. Oh my god, it doesn't like. 
like it. It really doesn't. It's really angry. <laughs> Let's try this one. losing my drill bit. Okay, well, that's enough. That's boring, isn't it? Okay, I'll get back with you. Whatever you do, don't dry, don't, don't pry on those ceiling, uh, those pot metal ceiling surfaces, you don't want to do that. Not with a, certainly not with a hardened steel object. Hard for me to believe that this is like that. There we are. Yeah, some sort of, some sort of rivet or something. This is crazy. Okay, yeah, this is froze up, and what we'll do, it looks pretty clean, but the jet looks froze up, so um, let's sort this out. It doesn't have too much crap in it, but it does have a lot of crap in it, uh, so we, I, think we'll, I think we'll be able to clean that, and uh, as long as I can find something to bolt that back together with, maybe a couple of machine screws or something, kind of goofed up the uh, surface there, a little bit of the rubber uh, of the ceiling surface there, but we can uh, put a little uh, a little fudge on it uh, enough to make it work. So I'm not, it, it's not, it, this is this is junkyard stuff, you know? So yeah, it is what it is. Oops, gonna lose my float. Yeah, that was jammed in there pretty good. All right, let's clean that up. And uh, clean all the crap out of here. A lot of sand in the bottom of it. A lot of sand in the bottom of a four-wheeler carburetor. You would never think that, would you? Well, there's the main jet and the pilot jet. I wonder how plugged up they are. I wonder if I can even get them out. There's the main jet. Wee, 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 wee. Look at that. Tiny. Oh, it's not plugged up. Now let's get the pilot jet out. Oh, you can't see that. Idle jet, pilot jet. There we go. It could be worse. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't have idled. That's plugged. Now I need, uh, what, 8 millimeter? No, it's smaller than that. Oh, I know what size it is. It's giant vice grip size. The ones with big welds on them. That's what size it is. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. 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 A little more. Oh, yeah. There you go. This is where your needle goes, and it looks nice and clean. It's pretty good. Okay, let's clean up these parts. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to uh, ultrasound sonic them or anything. I'm just going to uh, clean them up and blow them out. That looks like a vent of some sort. It's all plugged up. And I'll get back with you. I do have a ultrasonic cleaner, but I'm not getting it down for this. I'm just doing a quickie on it. And uh, I'm using my old gas, old dirty gas. 
and then I'll, I'll rinse it out with some clean, clean gas and uh, you know, just to give it a chance. And if it, uh, if it wants to cooperate, then great. And if it doesn't, eh, we'll just buy another carburetor and they're about 20 bucks or so. Really don't want to. It's not that I don't want to put another carburetor on it. What I don't want to do, what I hate doing, is putting those infinitesimally small slides on the throttle cable. I don't like doing that. So uh, I got some uh, tip cleaners here also. And you want to make sure and really ream these jets out really good with your tip cleaners. Try to make them as big as you can. No, no, no. You don't want to do that. This one here is full of junk. It's not a jet. It's just a, it's a vent. Purge. Well, that's a tiny hole right there. Also, uh, here's the uh, the slide screw, and we're going to count how many times it goes in, and then we're just going to take it out, and we're going to put it in, put it back in the same way. One half, a uh, little better than a half. That's it. That way, I can clean it. Shouldn't be a spring behind that. Yeah. There you go. Here's a little trick for you. It's that little, that little idle jet, that tiny little idle jet. It's got the tiniest little hole in it. Well, I didn't have a, uh, a um, you know, tip, tip cleaner uh, small enough. So what you do is you pull a wire off your cheek poker, you know, off of, uh, off a wire wheel. And there you go. And it fits in there, and it cleaned it out. Yeah. Two pair of glasses. <laughs> Can't see with just the one. Ha! Let's see here. I'm not going to bore you with this. China. I bought this to put on my Astro. No, it's not it, is it? Uh-uh. No. Why would it be? Of course not. No. Oh, it is vice grip size, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, it's a actuator for the rear door, and I thought uh, I would buy new actuators for it, so I bought new actuators, and I bought them from Rock Auto, and the actuators that I bought, they lasted about, oh, about a month, and then, um, it, and they just destroy themselves. I don't know what they do or what they did or how they did it or whatever, but they just, they, they don't work anymore. The motors go bad in them or something. And so uh, I said, well, I'm going to buy a different, I'm going to buy a different brand. And so I bought a different brand and same thing, same thing happened. And so I decided, well, I'm going to go whole hog, and I'm going to buy these SKFs. And these are supposed to be really good, and they were expensive, too. They were like 40 bucks a piece. And so I put one of these 
right here. And oh, and when I got them, they were the exact same brands as the other ones. They were just, the cost was just different. And uh, when, uh, when I put this one in my van, it lasted less than 10 days. There we go. I put it in a nice, safe plastic uh, container so that, yeah, so that no one can use it and be disappointed. But anyways, uh, I got some nuts and bolts here. So we're going to use these. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a little little long, but those will be okay, I think. Oh, look at that. Isn't that that's nice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I used a little uh, little uh, brown 25 on the, on, the, on the seal there, so help it seal up a little bit. Am I going to cut those off? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. And look, ooh, Volkswagen, five millimeter. Yeah, mm, nice. Okay, let's put this on there and see if it works. Okay, got the carburetor on there. Uh, we'll, give, uh, we'll give the cylinder a little snort. Snort. And uh, a little snort here. How about that? Oh, yeah, there you go. And we'll put a little snort in here. That'd be good. Try to work. Uh, no. Let's see here. Uh, no leakage out of the carb. That's good. Spark plug. Spark plug. Got a way to shut this thing off? Well, it's got kill switch up there, so I hope it works. <laughs> uh -huh. Use this. Let's, uh, let's check one more time, make sure it's got oil in it. Ooh, it's got a chrome dipstick. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, extra fancy. Yep, got oil in it. Pretty clean, too. Relatively clean. While I was, uh, Working on this, I got sidetracked on the brakes and I fixed the rear brake. It was uh, seized up and then uh, didn't have any fluid in it. I don't know where all the fluid went, but didn't have any. So I put fluid in it and bled the brake and it works. Don't know how long because the brake fluid goes somewhere. Unless somebody tipped it upside down or something. Don't need an air filter or battery. You gotta have a battery. Oh my God, I can't believe. Yeah. Uh, now, where is my starter? There it is. There it is, right there. Uh, key on. Should I choke it? Nah, I don't need to. I just put a bunch of gas in it. Well, let's see if she just... Uh... and it runs uh, let's uh, let's put a little more gas in that and uh, I'm sorry I got in your way I didn't mean that. let's put a little gas in there a little more gas there you go. and this time oh let's see here where's that screwdriver over there. Let's idle that up just a tick. Just a tick. Just a tick. A little bit. That is the hole, right? That is where that is, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Just a little bit. And uh, this time we'll use just a tickle of choke. Uh, okay. Contact. Come 
Come on, baby. Ooh, smoking. Oh, you're not going to do it for me, are you? You're not going to do it again, are you? Are we really hot? How hot are we? Not that hot, are we? We hot? We get hot? Ground hot? Oh, well, okay. Just... Oh, I think my battery's dead over there. Well, that's all you get. <laughs> Let me charge my battery. All right. Well, let's get in one more time. Let's see what happens. through with a lot of gas. Uh, let's put that upwards like that. Now where's our gas? There it is. Let's try this. There we go. Now a little, little shot in the arm. There you go. <clears throat> Get that dry. Out of gas. Will it run? Yes. Will it even idle? Yes. I'm glad it run out of gas. All right. Thanks for wrenching with me. Now get out of my garage.